Check his G heal at his house. She does. Jack and I have caught many fascinating creatures in the past, but not something as large and as lucky as this. Oh, oh, oh! Dick, get the bucket! Go, 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 go! Shoot! Oh my god! Here comes the fox! That's giant! Here, take it! Get him, grab him, grab him! Lift it up from that side. Lift it up, lift it up. Ah! Okay, whoa! Oh, what's going on? Oh, I see something! This guy. This. <laughs> Woo! Give me it, give me it, give me it. I know what I have to do here. I am stabbed in a million different places. It was a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Four feet long, full grown adult, and though not as deadly as a Western Diamondback, this species can get pretty aggressive. Luckily though, the one we caught wasn't vicious. The Southern Pacific rattlesnake is one of the nine subspecies of western rattlesnakes, which range across much of the western United States, Mexico, and Canada. Like its relatives, the Southern Pacific rattlesnake has a relatively hefty body and stubby tail, a triangular shaped head, hooded eyes, and elliptical pupils. are very widespread and are one of the most common snakes you can get bit by here in California. Their venom isn't lethal, but if you ever get bitten by one, seek medical attention immediately. If you thought that was cool, then make sure to go back to the very first Nature Adventures episode where Jack and I catch a rattlesnake for the first time on camera. Hope you thought this video was cool, and as always, thanks for watching.